so today I'm going to create some buttons for my canvas page. So here's my folder for buttons. I'm going to come to new and I'm going to go to drawings. I'm going to call this very simply button one. That's all I'm going to name it. I'm going to come in here to my shape. And since I want these to look like buttons, I'm going to choose my bevel. And I'm going to draw my button out. And right down here, you see these little ridges right down here? That allows you to resize your canvas. So I'm going to make my button fairly large. And then clicking in my button, notice I'm click I know I'm clicked in my button because I have these little blue dots, these little blue squares everywhere around that shows me that this button, this shape is what's active. I'm going to come in and change my color. Um, for today, I'm going to do a sort of a teal. And then I'm going to double click and it puts the text box right in the center. So if I want it centered, I come up here and I align it. And I'm going to make sure it's also aligned centered, even though that's the default for, for a graphic in Google Drawings. And I'm going to put here um, Module 1. And I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to make that larger. And I'm going to change the font a little bit. Make it a little easier to read. We have some format options here. I can put a drop shadow here if I want. Change that drop shadow to something else. So notice that on the picture itself, that's where the drop shadow is. If I want drop shadow on my text, then I need to remove this and add a text box to my graphic. And put my text there if I want my text to have the uh, the drop shadow module one and again I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change that and drop shadow just a little bit um, will allow me make it look a little more three-dimensional. See a little bit of shadow right there. Now I'm also going to put a little bit of a shadow on my text box. I mean on my image. But I want it to be dark and I want to expand my distance just a little bit so it looks like it's hovering on the page. There we go. And then I'm going to File, Download As, and I'm going to turn this into a PNG. And it's going to go into my pictures, and I'm going to make, take it into my canvas images, and I'm going to make a new folder just for my buttons. And I'm going to leave this as button one and click Save. But then I'm also going to come back and upload that into my Google Drive so that I have it there if I want it in the future. So notice I have button one and then button one.png. So this is the one that I am actually going to put on my page and this is the one that I can edit later to change the name to something else. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to pull up my Canvas course. I'm going to view all my pages. I want to create a new page so I'm just going to come over here and click page and I'm going to make this this I'm going to call this front page because I'm ultimately going to change this to my primary page so I can put in my my text right here I'm going to change my font size actually I'm going to change from paragraph to header 2 and I'm going to put welcome to my class and I'm going to center that. So there's an automatic centering button right there, which is really nice. And here I'm going to, I'm not going to use a table for design. 
because when you use a table for design, it messes up the screen readers for my students who need it read to them in, in a different language or who need help with their reading skills or who have visual issues. So to keep it a little more equitable, I'm not going to use that, but I am going to come here and put the word modules. And then I'm going to come over here to images. I'm going to upload a new image and I'm going to choose a file. And I am going to go to my pictures and my canvas images and my buttons and choose my module one button. And I am going to put alternate text, module one button. This will allow the screen reader to tell the person who needs to use the screen reader what that button actually is. I can load this into my course files by clicking upload. And here comes my button. There's my button. Notice that I can resize my button. And I can put a link on that to an external URL if I needed to. Or I can come over here to links, choose modules, and choose my first module. And then beside it, I'm going to actually also write the link link to module one, but I'm going to come in and change this to a different font size down to 12 points. And I'm also going to link that to module one. So now I have both a visual and a text-based link to that. So when I save and publish, this now becomes an active link to my module one. Okay. So I can now come in here and set and say, use this as my front page. And when I come back to home, there's my front page. I can edit and design this all that I want.